hello if you like this cabbage swallow i just made join me in the kitchen as we cook and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share it with friends and family and leave me a comment what do you think about making swallows with cabbage and using no binders i want to enjoy this right now it's very moldable i use blended paper oats to finish the job let's go cooking thank you so I'm going to make this swallow using cabbage and just water. Then because there's no xylem husk, I'll make this moldable without using xylem also. My Quaker oat is here, it's already blended. This Quaker oat, I'll just take a little from it to add to the cabbage swallow to make it moldable and good for swallowing. So let me just share with you how I make my low cap swallows without using xylem husk to bind. So I'm just going to chop the cabbage right now. For blending. So now I'll just blend the chopped cabbage. Here's the cabbage, already blended, really, really smooth. So right now we are going to separate the water. This is very watery. So I'm going to pour it right down in a strainer and remove the water. Then we use the cabbage for a swallow. So it's very, very easy to make cabbage swallows without using xylem husk to bind. So I'm going to make this without using any binder. So a little Quaker oat is going to serve as the binder for this swallow. So now that I've removed the liquid from this blended cabbage, I'm going to repeat the same process for this one that is still in the bowl. So we succeeded in removing the water from the cabbage and now I'm going to start making the swallow. This is the first one, this is the second part of cab blended cabbage. So. Let's make our cabbage swallow without xylem husk. This is my pot. I need a little bit of water in the pot to cook the blended Quaker oat. I blended very little Quaker oat. It's very smooth. This is my blended Quaker oat powder, blended into powder. So I'm going to boil it. Let me just take a few spoons and boil trying to eat swallows that will not fill my body with caps. So I'll just let this boil before adding the blended cabbage. I need a little bit of water. We'll make it light, lighter than pancake butter. Very little. This is just three spoons of Quaker oat. Continue to stir. So I've been stirring this for about three minutes now. 
it's a bit sticky now i know it can really bind my cabbage so i introduce the cabbage into the pot gradually i'll just take like half now start stirring i won't drop in everything at once i've added some to the pot and my turning stick is doing the work so just leave the pot on the cooker and keep stirring Actually, I feel like the quantity of cabbage I, blend, I blended is more than I can finish. I'm making this for myself. I'm on intermittent fasting and it's almost time for my eating window. So this, if I add more cabbage, is going to be more than I can finish. So I'm just going to just keep sprinkling in the blended Quaker oats until this is as hard as I want. Right now it's still soft for me. And I want to make it a bit harder and moldable. So my blended oat is too small. I'm just sprinkling a little bit more from the pack. I like my swallows a bit hard, not too soft. So it depends on how you like to make your swallows. Especially as I'm not serving with Ogbono soup. If it was Ogbono or Okra soup, <laughs> I can take very soft swallow with those soups. But if I'm going to eat this with vegetable soup, I need it to be a bit hard. So I'll just keep adding until it's as thick as I want. It's tearing. Let it sit for a few seconds while I go check on something. I'll come back and stir again. So my cabbage swallow is ready. I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up right now. And let it wait while I make the soup. I'll show you when it's a bit cool. I'll show you how hard it has become. The remaining blended cabbage is going to be kept in the fridge. I don't know, I might need it another time. But for today, I'm making just for one stomach so I'm not going to cook all this. I can't eat everything. This is the cooked swallow. Wrapping it up. To cool a bit. Any cellophane bag can be used to wrap this up. You can use cling film. I'm using my empty bread bags. These are new bread bags that haven't been used. I like to, I, I use them to make more moi, and I also like to wrap my swallows in them. So today, this cabbage swallow is going to stay here and cool a bit. Oh God. Oh dear. It's hot. And the bag is not that big. Can I double it? Yeah. There's a yummy cabbage swallow.